Hustle hard, man, I'm here all night I'm high park, thinking how the fuck I miss my flight I could have been in L.A. Rubbing on some actual cities But I guess the trap wanted me to stay and count hundreds 50 blocks stretch, my team of flex on anybody Double up is my army, I'm starting to feel like God is me I got Tupac running through my body Nas bumping in my tweeters, I'm in that state of mind Ducking Jakes and my pops, no end of disappointment In them would kill me alone, only if I got caught Speaking of catching, my line shaking Gotta catch this next one, you talking verses Well I got the best ones, better go and check them And did I mention, I'm charging extra These lines are puto, I'm dropping gems I like these rappers, man the lines are cool Hi and welcome to another section of Jeff the Master Barber. On this edition, I'm gonna do uh, what they call it in Puerto Rico or in Spanish, the punk. Uh, to me, it kind of does look a little bit like the the flat top. The only thing that is just uh, a little uh, uh, shorter and not not so short, um, but it's spiky. You know what I mean? And it has more f uh, flow to it. Um, the machine that I'm using right now that I was using, it was the balding just to start my, my guideline to clean the space right there, as you can saw. Now we're going to jump to the magic clip, original magic clip, with the clip number one. And, um, we're going to pass it in that area right away. Um, this haircut is, uh, I've been doing it, this is my friend Martin, shout out to Martin for letting me record him. Um... This circa, I've been cutting his hair for at least almost 20 years, I want to say. And, um, yeah, this, I already know it with, with my eyes closed. But, you know, it's still, it's a little tricky because he has some um, hairs that go different ways. And um, collets in the back and in the side of the hair. Um, so you got to really know how to blend it in. So, but I'm here to just show you show, show you that show you how i do it um if you're a new subscriber before i say that this is not guard number two speak zero guide and we're gonna grab that 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 section right there with uh the guard number one just um took it you know what i mean and made that line so and notice how the number two is taking it uh, i want to give a thanks to my 54,000 subscriber and also if you are new to this channel this is the moment for you to subscribe uh, and hit that little bell so whenever I'm making a video or live stream or review it will keep uh, notified right now we're jumping back to the one uh, with the level open you see and then these are many levels how you adjust the, the level you see what I'm saying it's like almost four times that you could adjust it before it's completely open or completely closed in this case it's completely open and we're gonna pass it right in that shadow right there where it was you know what I mean we're gonna continue past it right there and um right there in the corner too we're gonna continue passing it right there and and the level still I haven't closed the level yet but you see there's a shadow right there eventually later on we're gonna get it more close to. now we close the, the level so we're gonna try to take all those little points see like I'm trying but it's not grabbing still and I'm passing it right there see uh, it grab it it's grabbing it little by little it's going to wait but it doesn't grow it doesn't go right away people ask me Jeff I still when I pass it, I still left some little spot I'm gonna show you why it is um, but you got to be real careful you, you don't want to just uh, stay in one location in one spot just then it, it, everything will be uneven um, right now we jump into the 116 and we're gonna pass it right in, in top of the line right and it's gonna make another line if, if you notice it made another line at top uh, or, or the shadow right there as you could tell but we pass it left to right right to left see then we open the level and we're gonna take that line that I, that I just said that we that it just made and notice see I pass it right on top of the line I don't go higher I just stay there and if I see that it's not grabbing it then my 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 instinct is gonna tell me okay I'm passing it still just keep passing it all right keep passing it again one more time keep passing it in that area close the level then we close it and then we're gonna pass it again in that section where I was passing and right here 
that right there see this a little spot right there yeah and then we keep passing it we're gonna keep using the little corners so we don't sacrifice the whole clip to see and that that spot right there is still bugging me so you know and other spots too see keep passing it right there we're still using the 116 level level, level semi open now with no guards with no guard right there okay and then right there we we're using the half right a level semi close and we keep passing it now we open it we use the corner and notice how those spots little by little are starting to go away see now we open it completely and we go right there and right there and you notice those little spot see it's starting to go away now we and as I go out sometimes I keep closing it with the same hand or on my left hand I open it either way then I uh, put the, the number guard number one again and then we go over just touch-ups little little details just make sure um, it's I go safe to that area at the top and um, then we start brushing it right there in the little corner and then right there now we're gonna use the number two guard number two we're gonna take those uh, bulkiness from the hair from that area where I'm passing it and notice how I'm pressing it uh, free-handed uh, then we're gonna go in the bottom and we're gonna use the bolding in the bolding you could use a GTX uh, T liner a detailer uh, uh, whatever trimmer you have I always say that you don't have to do it how I do it necessarily you don't have to have the tools the same tools that I have you could do it the way you always you know what I mean so uh, but the reason why I have um, I'm using you may think that is a magic clip or that I'm using a clipper um, it is a clipper and it is the magic clip but the blade like I always said if I'm repeating myself for my other 54,000 subscriber I want you to let you know that I had all those 4,000 subscriber they are coming new to the channel every every month so I, I have to make myself understandable for them too um so I have to explain everything I have to repeat myself that's why um so back what I was saying the blade that I put on it is a bolden it's just to strictly clean what it does with the GTX the detailer the only thing that is wider and um so putting it to this clipper this body it makes everything go uh, a lot quicker and faster and clean quicker right now we're going with the technique scissors over comb and this is the oyster uh, scissors I love this uh, pair of shares that they're, they're real good notice how my combs they are light gray and so when I grab the hair I could see uh, the hair all the spools that I had to uh, you know take and notice how we're gonna do the other side now the same thing that we did in the other side well we're gonna do it differently I always say you know we always do it I always do it differently meaning the, the other one I didn't clean the bottom but this side I clean it just so, so you know there's diff many different ways to do a fade uh, and pretty much it's as long as you know uh, the technique of blend or how to basically erase the spots the, the shadows the lines it should, it, should, it should be no problem. A lot of people try to perfect uh, to do a real nice even line like on this part. You shouldn't worry doing a perfect line because at the end of the day, you're going to erase it regardless. So there's no need to perfect in it. I mean, you want to make sure that you have so, uh, that bottom clean. That's that's the, the big point. Um, but don't go so like look like I'm doing it right there, but I'm not doing trying to be like so perfect. You know what I mean? Like right now we're gonna use the the one eight or the one. Uh, people say I don't got the one eight. How come you call it one eight? Because in the back, if you read the the guard, it says one eight. Um, so we pass in the number one right there. And we're gonna pass that level. How how much high, Jeff? Is that like an inch or half an inch? The way that you see it right there, that's the the, the height that you want to do it. You want to have plenty uh, of, of, of space in between. 
so that way this uh, the you so they that blend didn't come out a lot better um, pass it from right to left left to right you know and then once you see you you already have it just pass it a few more times then we're gonna grab number two and we're gonna take that the 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 bulkiness or the line that the one did you notice see that's where we're gonna pass it right there we're gonna continue passing it we're gonna continue passing it right there too you see that all that bulkiness you see the flow you see how the the clipper is is in an angle and then it goes to a different angle that's because of the way that of the hair goes down you see what I'm saying? If the hair goes down that way, the machine is gonna be like a little bit sideways. See right here, specifically right there, it's gonna be sideways. See, um, I keep brushing it, make sure keep the client clean. Make sure you keep the part that you just when you use the brush, the hair fall back into place. So let you know what you got to clean. Um, that's why I use the brush. Not only that, just to maintain my area that I just cut clean. So now we jump into the one with the level open. We're going to take the line that the one did. You see what I'm saying? And it's going to grab it right away. You know what I mean? The other one is going to take some time just like it did in the other side. But in the meanwhile, we keep, you know, striving to get those lines, those spots and whatnot. Once again, I'm using the guard number one level uh, open. Now we're closing it little by little. Remember. And we're gonna use the, some of the corners of the clipper just to get those spots or, or get that shadow. You see what I'm saying? So right now, and also hold the ear so that way it's in, it's comfortable for for him and comfortable for you. So you don't have to be passing the clipper on top of the ear. That's uncomfortable for the client. Uh, you know, at times, see this. That I always grab it the the ear. See, just to make sure because I'm passing it close to it. I don't want it to bother. So right now we jump into the 116 and we're gonna pass it right there on top of the line. You see? Right there on top of the line. And, and we're gonna go maybe if anything uh, just half an inch higher. But then we open the level and we're gonna pass pass exactly with that line that just formed right there. You see what I'm saying? And then right there, there's a shadow right there, there's a spot right there, spot right there. I open the level and keep passing it right there I close the level go down a little bit and pass it in that spot open the level completely the 116 I go a little higher but not too high and then right here same thing just pass uh, right there brush it close the level pass it there because I still see the it's a little um dark a little a little still this spots and shadows there and we keep passing it there you see what I'm saying then we close the level and we go right there and we stay right there again level close using the guard the 116 you know then we open the level notice how I did it with my left with my own with the same hand now we go in with the uh, no guards and we close the level and we're gonna pass it right to the line the stroke is gonna be a lot shorter then I open the level just a little bit and then I go higher just to erase the line that it did when it was closed. See what I'm saying? Now I open it again a little bit more. And then we brush it just to make sure. You know what I mean? Clean everything. Make sure that everything is up, up to coming to, to his to his place. Now, right here, I know that there's some lines right there. That's why I keep opening. Now I open it completely. And I go in that area right there. And in the corner right here. And then right there, there's a spot. So I close the level. And I try to get that spot. You see what I'm saying? You see? And then I keep passing it. That area right there, there's a couple of lines. So I'm going to use the whole blade to do that. Now we're jumping to the back. And we're going to do the same thing. Now, as you can tell, we're using the, the 116 right there. Uh, with the lever uh, semi-close. Right? Now we're going to open it. Now is the 116 level open. But then I don't want to risk it going too so uh in that area in the dark spot so we're going with the one see so right there i feel most safer going with the one and one eight basically the one now we open the level that's the one eight the one one eight with the level open that's uh one and a half basically if you want to call it like that and notice how i'm using the corners to take those little 
uh, dark spot, you know what I mean? Uh, then I close the level right there. Then I use the corners. I'm using more of the corners uh, to get those spots. You see those little spot with the corner. But I'm going from right to left, left to right. And as I'm doing it, I just make sure I tackle those spot with the corners of the clipper. Uh, now we're jumping back to the 116 level close, and we're going start on the lower part, obviously right there. Um, then we open the level and we go a little higher, not too not too high, but right there, especially where the line is. That's our line right there. See, and now we open the level a little uh, completely. At this point, it's completely open. And I tackle those spots uh, because earlier with the one it was not grabbing. Still with the 116 level open, it was not grabbing it. So I close the level, pass it again, then I jump down. Now I go back, no no guards, and I have the level close, a uh, level open right now. See, and it took uh, took that that spot that it was there. See, I'm taking the spot right there. Then I close the level a little bit. See and then I grab it right there it's all gradually it's all in the in the level now we're going uh, on the side on that right where I'm passing it scissors over to, uh, over over combs the combs are actually great but so that way you can see uh, how much hair you actually have to cut and just because it's out there exposed on top of the comb that doesn't mean you gotta cut all of it just cut you know little by little you could always cut later. You could cut more later. Uh, notice that I use the big teeth to get the big volume, right? And notice how I, I, I just basically pick the hair and kind of glide over it and keep moving it. I don't stay in the same. I keep moving the comb. I keep moving it. You know what I mean? Keep moving it. That's what I'm doing right there. Now, with the small teeth, it's going to act like a 116, basically, for shorter hair like in that area see what I'm saying right there too. notice how I'm passing it exactly with the flow how the hair goes down then we go up the same way as the hair it goes down and uh, we grab it and lift it up as we go higher we lift it up the cones and and now we back to the 116 because I still see that there's still some spots that is bothering me so that and that's what it is it had to bother you and until it doesn't bother you no more than that that that's what I call detail right now I'm using the sh electric shaver um, the serious 9 the broom barn barn it's hard for me to pronounce it because I speak a lot of Spanish but um, it doesn't matter if you have this one you don't necessarily have to have this one just like I said with every tools that I have I don't you don't have to have all my tools to 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 try to do this haircut or at least the, the looks of it but just try to you know mimic it try to do the best that you can with what you have you know what I mean work with what you have don't wait until you uh, uh, don't do it uh, don't wait to do it until you have the right tools because it's not you have to have to go to that process you know what I mean uh, this this shaver is super good you know what I mean if you do definitely making money and, and whatnot and you tired of replacing the top of, of the other shaver well this is the, the machine that you gotta get um, but until then if that's what you have just work with it you know what I mean uh, right now we just wetting his hair we were gonna be cutting his hair on top with the scissors the first technique that I'm gonna be going is just the same scissors over comb and we're gonna grab it right there in that area right there as you can tell you know right there and um, we're gonna go and tackle those long hair right there all right we, now we're gonna cone it back we're gonna be grabbing this is the technique the technique that I tell you the technique that I that I tell you that I do sorry about that I, is uh, notice how with the comb, I cone it, and then with the two fingers, once I grab, I cone it with the comb, I pinch it with the two fingers and expose the hair. And I'm gonna keep going from front, front to back, straight, and then we're gonna keep working our way all the way to the left side, like that. 
Um, notice how also the combs rest on the thumb, right? So it's basically right there, you know. In the front, we're gonna leave a little longer than the than the back, but it's still uh, uh, later on we're gonna shape it up to almost kind of go even in, 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 into a into a sense that is gonna have a style to it, even though it's a little longer on the on the on the front. Um, so yeah, we keep going. Notice I'm still going, working my way all the way to the other side, and we we keep continue cutting the hair. Make sure that every angle is even, every corner. Uh, notice how the combs easily rest in the thumb, and it give me the uh, the flexibility to cut the hair that uh, that I pinch. Once I and then I, I I brush it, then I go with the combs. The corners they are really short that I cannot do grab it by the, with the other style then I go this style which is the, the comb the scissors over comb right on the corners right at top and um, there's gonna be some long hairs that I can grab so still I'm still see I'm going over it every corner make sure that every corner is all see you can see the what I have to cut I make sure see I clean it in that corner right there it was a little dark to me right there I want to make sure that it blends in very well you know what I mean keep keep getting it right there and we're gonna do that in the other side too you know and not just in one side make sure that whatever you do in this side you also do in the other side um, and yeah as you could tell we're getting it there we're gonna go on top of it and it's basically I, I'm I'm just touching it in the top you know what I mean just tiny just keep going and moving it and keep and then free free hand it with the scissors just to whatever I see you know what I mean get it right there right there on top of it you know what I mean and that's how we're gonna go through the whole hair and then notice on the side I'm doing what I on the other side I'm doing what I did in the uh, the side over here I'm doing it over there too uh notice I'm still going see from right to left uh, uh, grabbing with the comb doing it like that uh, in the front like I said it's always a little longer than the back but I'm trying to go every corner you see when I'm doing it like that it's like having um the comb a bigger comb but instead of using the, the bigger comb I'm just using this technique and notice I'm stepping the back and I do it from the back too. make sure that you know every corner I, I get it right uh, right there you see notice how the Caesar is straight with the comb see it goes with the flow and, and just as I'm, I move with the comb I move the scissors right at top in conjunction together you know what I mean right there uh, like I said, I use gloves because his hair, especially his hair, is it, it always stick in my skin. You know what I mean. So definitely, if you could get some gloves, wear some gloves. It's it's, it's very uh, not only hygiene, but you know, treat yourself and treat everybody. You know, with the respect and no, without offending nobody. But you don't know what other people have, and and you don't want to catch nothing. So. Uh, yeah, so right now we're using um, Pump It Up. This is a hair uh, a hair spray. It's a, uh, what it does, it frees the hair instantly in, in place. So right now, notice his hair, we just finished cutting it really short and usually tends to go forward or, or, or tends to go in its own way. But with this um, hair spray and adding some uh, heat from with the blow dryer, and uh, coning it back within I said about 30 seconds one minutes top is gonna start getting really like sticky and then it's gonna uh, bend exactly to the back how I want it you know what I mean like see starting to get really sticky see like it's starting to mold and I want it to stay laying back like that see you see how it's, it's shaping you see how it's shaping uh, that's and once you have everything all even uh, 
the haircut really all evened up you know what i mean it's gonna get there's gonna be some other parts that it's gonna be still standing the other one but i'm gonna show you the way how i get it even more cut even evenly uh blow dryer i use this one it has coal and and and, and regular uh and heat uh, keep the distance whenever you using the blow dryer you don't want to burn the scalp or the client basically so uh, clean the clean the forehead clean everything around make sure he's everything is clean and he's not uncomfortable this is the technique that I use is uh, free handed with the with the with the clipper with the magic clip and what I do is uh, I, I go right at top and I start from the side and then I keep molding it I'm gonna be molding it see from the top keep molding it really nice right there too yep right there uh, top uh, with the magic clip it has a nice crunch blade so it, it definitely it really cuts all the hair like even those that are standing it cut it with no problem definitely uh, I recommend this this uh, this machine and and then being cordless there's no cable that is holding you to definitely go around it the way that you want to freely go you know what I mean so then you get the really style that you want those corners right there see and then right there we go a couple of times make sure that you get everything get it even it you know what I mean make sure and uh, keep working all the, the what you did in this side and the other side just like we did with the scissors we're gonna do with the cones you know any little hair that you see standing that's what we're gonna be doing you know what I mean like we're gonna be uh, make sure we get it right you you know make sure that we get it everything even uh, and you know it's starting to look almost like a flat top but it's not a flat top it, it, it's, it's at the end of the day it's gonna have some curviness and the flat top is really like square and really short in the middle and longer in the side and, and a little longer in the front so um, and really flat so that's why it's called flat top but uh, yeah you know I, a lot of people ask me Jeffrey why don't you do this haircut why don't you do this haircut I would the thing is that usually it, when they ask me to to do the video I ask the client the client don't want to do it don't want to be record or I don't have the uh, or, or most of the time uh, you know what I mean like I don't have the the style people coming in with the style that you guys asking but if they do and then they let me record then I do it uh, I might use the GTX that I modified the other day and calibrate it and we're gonna start from the middle and we're gonna work our way to the side uh, if you are interested on in knowing how I modify cut it you know it's not a science uh, what I did to it but um, how I calibrate it, how I modified it to get it to cut really nice, more even sharper. They're hitting really, really well. You know what I mean? They're really hitting really, really sharp. Um, you could go to the video, uh, all my videos, and I think it's going to be maybe six videos down, um, and you're going to be able to see it. I, I, I did it in, in Spanish, and uh, I forgot to do it in English, but just by sometimes like I said sometimes I don't even have to talk so much or say anything just by doing the, the steps it's like I always say I could show you better than I can explain it um, but definitely if you guys want me to do the video in English just leave your comment and, and I'll be more than welcome once I see that a lot of people are interested to uh, show them how to make how to calibrate it and do the explanation I'll be more than willing to do it uh, I do more of the tutorials. The tutorials uh, definitely a lot of people are interested how to how to do you know. Uh, but yeah, this is what I like about the modify. You know, it goes more deep in. Um, right now we're gonna be shaving. Uh, we're not gonna be doing shaving shaving with the blade, but we're gonna be shaving with the uh, shaver. If you notice on the back, is on the station. Not only is getting charged, but it is also getting clean. Uh, that's what I like about that machine you don't have to plug it in it's just, just put it into the station It's automatically charging and what I'm using right now is the Bolden you could use the GTX the detailer the TR liner whatever trimmer you have 
and make sure you bring the hairs down. You don't even have to do it with the with the electric shaver. You could have shaved his hair. Uh, you see how long they are? I could uh, well before they will they will shave. I could have shaved it like that. But I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to struggle and take a little longer. So what I do, I just I go with the with the with the trimmer or with the balding and shave the the longer hair and get it at least whatever clothes and then to get it more even smoother then I use the shaver I uh, used to shave with the blade but uh, sometimes uh, this way this method is it gets even more closer than the shaver um, and uh, you know when we going to the other side and then we're gonna lay it down later on when we we're about to do the box out and when we do um, in that time too also I'm gonna go one more time and I'm gonna show you how I also I, I, sh I use the shaver and how I I use the hand the other hand to pull the skin and to feel if it's any studs or, or, or roots of hair and go even extra more clean uh, to get that shave nice close shave uh, yeah so right now I'm using the bolden it may look like the magic clip once again but it's it just the blade is bolden um, and the bolden is just to clean really really to clean only not just to do fade it's just to clean then right here uh, I'm using the series 9 uh, the burn series 9 and um, yeah you can find this on Amazon you can find it eBay you can find it in, in, in Best Buy it has that trimmer too like if you need to get that little hair whatever real quick and you don't want to stop what you're doing get the trimmer it does have a trimmer it's not like really the best but it does help real quick you know what I mean if it's just one couple of hairs you it's right there the grip on it on this uh, of, of the way how it feels in the hand is, is beautiful the way how you could keep the head steady or maybe if you want to flex to be movable to be flexible it's awesome too it's just uh, overall this machine is is definitely worth every penny uh, I recommend that I definitely do recommend it look at you know look at look at how the flexibility you can see in the side when I'm passing it and and uh, doesn't pull doesn't irritate none of that it's just overall great machine great built machine I definitely recommend it to any barber out there uh, now we we got him laying down we put the cream on him uh, we put the bumper cream and once we put the bump cr uh, bump pro he's gonna throw that 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 white line like I always said and but that's because the between the pump it up and the cream once he dries up and and a brand new put in a brand new blade it's gonna it's gonna start bringing uh, that, that white dust sometimes it's dead, dead skin too uh, but always try to lift the the box out as natural as possible as you can see I'm living a natural really outside um, and then we go to the back notice how my left hand my left thumb is always behind the blade stretching the skin you know what I mean it's definitely it, it helps a lot make sure you do that right there make sure you you always uh, with the thumb always stretching uh, always have the combs, the combs, in case if you gotta scrape something, it's there. Uh, and yeah, you know, look at how it's coming, little by little. This is what I was saying earlier. Now that I have them laying down, this is another angle that I could get. And even with my hands having the gloves, I could still feel the studs. And so now what I do, not only I feel it, but then I stretch the skin with my left hand. With my left hand, my thumbs, I'm, uh, my fingers, I'm feeling for for the studs, and then I, 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 if I do feel it, I'm gonna pass the machine. Then I, I, I lift the skin. So what it does, it raises the the studs, so the machine could get it even closer. Um, details, you know what I mean? Those are the little details. Notice how I pass. See how I, I follow? Uh, you know what I mean? The nose. I try to stretch everything in the corner, in the side. You know what I mean? They go different ways. Notice how my left hand still searching, you know what I mean? Right there in the corner, right there, go different, make sure different angles, different sideways. Um, look, even when my fing uh, my hands flip, my left hands, I still, see, like I, I feel it. 
like that and then I go over it with the machine and uh, yeah th that, that will help uh, even to get even a, a closer shave you know what I mean it does the the, the trick right then the corners usually the, they, they get bigger hair or thicker hair or studs so pass it right there really really good then we put aftershave once we finish but right now we're gonna put add a little bit of elegance gen the number one for me one of the best gel uh, that company elegance is definitely they know what they're doing they know exactly what barbers and customers and clients need uh, they're giving the right product uh, the texture the smell uh, it, it doesn't give no flakes it, it's, it's just perfect now I'm adding it with no notice I just added with my bare hands and we're gonna try to open all the hair so you could get that spike look but it, we have uh, we notice uh, you know we do the nice texture and right now when we do that there's some hairs that actually poke out so that's when I'm going with the scissors and those little hair that poke out um, from this all the way from the camera to there you can't see it but where I was closed you could you you was able to see it so uh, right now that's what I'm doing I'm just checking make sure and then with the combs with the bigger teeth of the combs I'm open more of the hair in the front getting in that angle right there you know simple little details make sure get the hair everything spread out right get it right now with the style see right there I noticed some long hair get it there right right there make sure everything it looks even make sure that every hair is taking care of it and I step back now I pull I get a napkin I pull after shave or if you have alcohol or shave after shave and get a blow dryer make sure the blow dryer is cool and and blow it with the uh, it blow exactly where you pass it because you don't want to burn the client with the just pure alcohol and no air put in the nice cool air and and the uh, and the uh, after shaving the napkin is definitely is, is gonna feel real comfortable and he's gonna he's gonna feel good and refresh right now I'm just going over of the with the shape of make sure that it's it's more no noticeable and, and I'm going over final details before I finish you know those li little details it helps and then going around the ears or where the machine couldn't get or, or the shaver and then by the neck there's some hairs there make sure that all those baby hairs are taken care of so yeah this is him before the haircut this is how we look you know he's like <laughs> my boy Martin uh, great guy man workaholic he got his own company the chimney company he, and, and definitely he's really good at, at what he does too We've been knowing each other for a long time and definitely a loyal client. And yeah, this is after the this is the finished product. You see what I'm saying? Look at how it looks. Once you put the nice gel and and you style it, you know, no lines, well blend in. You may have one white long hair there, but you know what I mean? I leave it. You embrace those white hairs. Because if you start taking them, then you're gonna go crazy and they're gonna come back more so just embrace it look at the shave really really clean you know what I mean a nice box out nice and sharp even every every the same on this side is in the same side but thank you I hope you enjoyed this video your boy Jeff the master barber peace